All right. YouTube pranksters. We're always hearing every now and then some goofball wanting extra views does something completely stupid. <laughs> this is Man Shoots YouTube Prankster. And uh, apparently the jury has acquitted him. But um, this is Bruce Rivers. He's a criminal attorney. Um, y'all should. I'll put the uh, link in the description. I've been subscribed to his channel for a really long time. Probably back uh, when the Depp trial, <coughs> heard in Depp trial, tur turd in Depp. Uh, trial I, I discovered this guy and he's he's pretty awesome but anyway um let's find out what's going on because I you know I don't even know all the details we'll see what's up and Coley is uh, just picking up uh, an order and he's not bothering anybody what's that in? The two of them are confronting him, but they're not having any lethal force, right? Quit thinking about my twinkle. Quit thinking about my twinkle. Now, I, I know we're funny guys, you know, because we're in the mall and, you know, we want to get noticed on YouTube and... Oh, fuck it, give me a break. Come on. You can carry things a little too far sometimes. Yeah, I mean... Apparently they're in a mall or something is where I started the video. Um... Yeah, so far, the guy's a douche. And you see that all the time. No. He's trying to, he's asking him several times to leave him alone. Yeah, get and out of my face. This 21-year-old cook uh, is not leaving him alone. Where I've stopped it here, you can see he's trying to push the phone away, and cook, Mr. Coon, is, continues to encroach on him. Oh my god, the guy's only 21 years old. The youth is wasted on the youth. No oh my being. gosh. Stop. So stop. Now he's getting angry. Yeah. Look, he's going for his gun. Oh my god. Boom. Well, just like that. Honestly, how fucking stupid on both of their parts. Now, let's talk about self-defense. That was quite quick. That was that was really fast. Now, we'll get back to Bruce Rivers. I wanted to see if there was more footage of um, the incident. This news piece has some more of the footage. Let's, let's see what they got to say. Jim, Tanner Cook's YouTube page has nearly 56,000 followers. Most videos show Cook going to public places and doing some sort of prank that people typically have negative reactions to. We're going to walk you through this video without audio first. He gets his subscribe. People subscribe to his channel because he's doing stuff to give pe other people have a negative reaction to. It's like. I tell you, mine's full of mush. Then we'll play the whole thing for you. On April 2nd at Dulles Town Center, Cook was being filmed as part of his YouTube page as he walked up to Kali, who was picking up a food delivery. On Cook's phone, he had an automated voice play a vulgar message that was repeated multiple times to Kali, who tells him to get away or he'll call the police, is what it appears to say in the video. Kali tries walking away. Cook appears to follow. Then the lone shot rings out. Here's the full video. Huh? What? Oh my God! There it is. Well, there it is. There's. Oh, Jesus. Kali did have a concealed carry permit. Cook has recovered. Kali was found guilty of discharging a firearm in a public place. Again, not guilty on some of the wounding-related charges. His attorneys. Kali okay. Okay. Let's uh. Let's see what uh 
rivers. I mean, this should be a wake up call to all them goofballs trying to get views and bugging people. You're going to do this to the wrong person. Obviously, he did it to the wrong person. So he just whips the gun out and he so coldly shoots him. That's just so cold. I, I have never seen anything like that. Let's watch it again, but we're going to watch it quickly, you know, just in real time. I hate that phrase, real time. Well, we'll just watch it through. Okay, we get to see it again. There we go. What's that? Anyway? He pulled that gun really fucking fast. He did. Now, <coughs> excuse me, he said something interesting. Riv Rivers did. You know, he was called to just whip the gun out so quickly. I don't know what's going through this guy's head. You got somebody in your face. There's another guy with him, so there's two guys following him and putting a phone in his face. I mean, what is he thinking? What would you be thinking? Are they gonna are they gonna mug me? I'm carrying my food. I got my food. What's going on in this guy's head? We can only speculate that that he felt seriously threatened. I mean, I don't know this guy's history. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know whether to say, well, why did you pull the gun out? Well, two guys are in your face. I don't know. I mean, he did, and he didn't hesitate to shoot it. I think yeah. I would have told him, I'm going to shoot you if you don't leave me alone. Probably would have left him alone. Okay. So maybe. So let's talk about self-defense. What is self-defense? First of all, self-defense is an affirmative defense. What's an affirmative defense? That means the, that the defendant in a criminal case has the burden to make some showing that there's self-defense, okay? So that he acted in self-defense. And, and what do you have to show? Things One, there's a reasonable belief that the force is justified. I would say, you know, if somebody's harassing you like that, some force is, you know, especially when you ask three times for them to stop and they're not stopping. The second element that you... Well, he was acquitted. It, it, that the attack has to be immediate. He really wasn't being attacked. He was being harassed. But one could argue that being harassed is being attacked. But one of the things you have to have while in, in an attack is whether or not you had a reasonable fear for either great bodily harm or death. It's to be a threat. And then... I mean, he might have, that's what I was saying a moment ago, he might have felt fear. We don't know. Somebody's sh shoving something in your face. Not, he's got a buddy beside him, and you're by yourself. And he just keeps, I mean, he could, I mean, we can only speculate. This guy, he could have, you know, when he got acquitted, he could have said, yeah, I was in fear. <laughs> I mean, who's to argue with that? Dude's in his face. He told him three times, stop, leave me alone. You know, the use of deadly force is limited. The election to use deadly force has to be reasonable. So deadly force is not permitted if the individual is threatened with unlawful force. It is only justifiable if the threats involve great bodily injury or death. You can't just, if somebody's bugging the shit out of you, you can't just fucking shoot them. <laughs> I mean, you have to believe that your life is in danger. Or, or, they're, or you're about to suffer some serious injury. And then the... I think he's lucky. I mean, the guy, the YouTube prankster's lucky he's not dead. And I guess the guy who shot him should be thankful he didn't kill him. Because, you know, who knows if he would have got acquitted for that. amount of force that you use must be reasonable. Now, that's... Now, let's break all this down. He approaches him with a cell phone, not a firearm. He's bugging the crap out of him, and he tells him to stop three times, and he's still encroaching on him. With another guy, by the way. And what does he do? He whips his gun out and shoots him one time. He is so fucking lucky that the guy didn't die. Yeah.
What was he charged with? The first count that he was charged with was aggravated malicious wounding. Kind of a, um, a lot to pack in there. Aggravated malicious wounding. And, and what aggravated malicious wounding is occurs when you maliciously wound, and you keep it in time, the malice. Malice is like you don't really fucking give a shit. You kind of are mean just for the sake of being mean. It means that, uh, you know, you have a reckless disregard for... Sure. Stop. Yeah, stop. That's within 17 fucking seconds that he shoots him. It looked like he shot him in the arm. Hmm. Well, he survived. That close range. Hmm. 17 seconds is all. I mean, you just pick it up a food order. I mean, w w what if you're one of his kids and you wouldn't pick up your room? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. This, ra <laughs> this does raise a whole issue. You little concealed turd. Carry. The concealed carry movement is, is strong in every state in the country, okay? If you have a concealed carry permit, it does not authorize you to whip that gun and use it whenever the hell you want. It doesn't. There are restrictions. There are very definite restrictions where when and how you hear that old phrase i'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by six you know what that means right what does that mean i don't know <laughs> what do you mean i can't whip my gun out <laughs> dang rather have a jury trial on the issue rather than you know have a funeral and i have seen it over and over and over again people making the wrong well if they're seeing me, they've made the wrong choice, you know, or, the, or it's gotten really serious. So I see it over and over again where you have firearms that are involved. People have a concealed carry permit, and they think they can just use it whenever they want. I had a case where one time my client was in the basement of his mother-in-law's house. He and his uh, significant other, they, were, they weren't married, but they were kind of, you know, together, or they were together. With they are kind of together? Okay kids and stuff and but they had moved here from california displaced her brother her brother had to go get an apartment because they were going to live there and try to save some money and her brother fucking hated him just hated him. oh my god that's the first thing that popped in my mind this guy what? mom dad you're kicking me out for her well if she had kids i can understand that the parents would like hey man you need to go get an apartment <laughs> We're tired of you being a snowflake. No, I don't know. Here we go. Hated him, hated him, hated him. My client was in the basement, and they had a bedroom down there and stuff. And But the brother had a bunch of his belongings still down there, and he didn't give a shit when he went down there or what he did. So he goes down there to get a stencil to get a board game. And fuck you, you know, they were yelling back and forth. So my client goes back to his bedroom, and he goes and grabs a gun like this. And he holds it down like this, and he, and he goes, oh, what are you going to do, shoot me? And he starts going after it. Now, my client had, had a neck injury that he had a work comp case, and he, and he was really worried that if he was attacked, he could break his neck. And so he comes. Oh, crap. <laughs> Bruce Rivers is a good attorney. My client had a neck injury. But he sat there with his gun, and he was afraid that if he got in an altercation... So he, he didn't want to get in an altercation. He wanted to avoid it from all costs. What? <coughs> what a great defense. There we go. Starts walking after him. Boom. Shoots him in the leg. Good Lord. Okay. Well, that's assault with a deadly weapon. But is there self-defense in that scenario? You're in your home. There's a thing called the castle doctrine. The castle doctrine means you don't have to retreat in your home. And as long as you believe, reasonably believe a felony is going to, about to be committed, you can use deadly force to, to prevent that felony. And the felony here was a felony assault against himself. People think so many different things about guns. People have strong reactions both ways. And this case that I had was just an example of that. Now, I made the mistake of leaving a firefighter, high-powered lawyer and former federal law clerk 
All the, this is all one person, by the way. Oh my god! Uh, on the jury, and I, oh. at the time he was the chief judge. She, it, it was her former clerk, and so I didn't really want to upset that apple cart. And I figured, oh man, <laughs> Bruce Rivers, we're seeing him, his brilliance at work right here. You know, this is a fairly simple case, and she was she turned out to be the four person and fucked me. And and it happens every time I have a lawyer on the jury for whatever reason. I don't know. I'm never leaving another lawyer on the jury. However, the prosecutor made the mistake of leaving an NRA member who okay. drew down on a cop who was on his property who didn't announce himself with a shotgun, and is unapologetic for it. And his line in the jury room is "Fuck the law. He's not guilty." So they wanted to... How would they get on the jury? <laughs> be a hung jury. So you've got really, really strong opinions about guns. Yeah, on, on both, both sides. sides. Yeah. And, and so this is in Virginia and, you know, probably more of a pro-Second Amendment state, probably more of a, a red state than a blue state. But when you have a concealed carry, you have to be really, really careful. Really careful. I don't know. Virginia's been voting blue for for years now. Y'all need to stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Go red. If you're going to go red, go all the way, baby. <laughs> there you go. Because you can't just brandish it. You can't just use it willy-nilly. You know, in, in that case I just talked to you about, the judge in that case said, you could try this case 15 times. And get five hung juries, five acquittals, and five guilty verdicts. That's and so we wound up settling the case for a misdemeanor, which is what I offered all along. And he didn't go to jail. So that and that's also the benefit of hindsight because you, you try a case, and even if you get a hung jury, like last week I got a hung jury. I've had like four of them in my career, and they're not pleasant to get, but they do tenderize the prosecutorial meat. If but think about the case he just told us about. The guy goes, gets his gun. He's sitting down in a chair. And the other guy comes walking in. I mean, he conveniently, he he knew where to shoot him. Now, <coughs> of course, I'm speculating on this case he had tried. But come on. he, he It sounds like he planned it. Well, he's all pissed off. He don't want to get in a physical confrontation because his neck is jacked up. So he goes, he sits down, he's got his gun. The other guy comes walking in and he's like, I'm going to shoot that blankety blank. I'm going to shoot him in the leg. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty convenient. That's funny. As it were. And what that means is they look at their case differently. You know, if all of a sudden it's seven not guilties and five guilties, they're not as apt to either retry it or offer you a better deal because they think they might lose the case. In his own video, if you look at the top comments, justice is served, the victim has been acquitted, time to make sure Cook is charged and sentenced for harassment. Keep going so we all get the sequel and see what we all want to see. I'm glad that man was armed. He exercised his right as an American citizen. See what I'm see what I'm saying? People have strong views. It, and and that right there is not the law. You don't have the right to just fucking blow somebody away. Even if they're bugging you. You have to reasonably fear for your life. I mean, I I'm not a fan of these kind of Who's to say he wasn't in those few seconds? I think it what? It would only take just a few seconds for you to think, oh my God, I'm in danger. If it was a woman? Oh. I wonder if it was a woman. And he's all up in her face. And she whips out one of them little princess guns. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. Them little. And she's like, I t she's like, get away from me, get away. He doesn't get away from her. Would we be having a different conversation? Would more people be on her side because she's a woman and he's all and he's six foot something and he's all in her face? But that guy, he was a short guy. The other guy, the guy he shot was a lot taller. But who's to speculate when when you think you're in danger?
because they're like, oh, you know, because the video happened so fast. But in a split second, your brain could go to, I'm in danger. This guy's just hovering over me. I, I don't know. Just, just, just throwing that out there. In the comments, but look at it. I mean, this has got 1,900 likes. It's a shame he didn't aim higher. Damn. I mean, come on. That kind of talk doesn't help anybody. Dude. It inflames people. But that's exactly what this guy did. This goon did. You know, this... Uh, I think whoever wrote that comment did that just to get attention, just to say it. Just to say it and see how many likes or dislikes he get. I mean, even people make comments just to get a little click on, on them. <laughs> I mean... He should have aimed higher. I mean, he could have been just joking just to see, yeah, I'm going to write this and incite, incite a riot in the chat. <laughs> oh, my God. Cooks, I mean, you fuck around, you're going to find out. And it's so yeah. dumb to be that extreme. But this guy got shot and almost killed because he just wanted to get TikTok and Internet famous. Keep what I'm oh, saying TikTok. close to the vest. If you have a concealed carry, make sure you practice what they say to do and not do in your kit, in your class. Don't think just because you have a gun and you have a permit to carry that gun that you can wield it whenever you want, however you want. The law of self-defense has limitations. And you, if you observe those, you'll do okay. If you're reckless with them, you're going to go to prison. So I'm Bruce Rivers. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter. Yeah, y'all check out Bruce Rivers. <clears throat> He's a pretty smart guy. Well, there you go. Wow. I learned a lot right there, huh? About self-defense, what you can and can't do. And each state has their own set of laws. Um, I've got family out in Virginia. So you guys better go and re read up on those laws. Make sure, you know, we're staying in coordinates with everything. But, uh, damn, blame. Freaking TikTok, man. Actually, TikTok was brilliant. Just, just pure genius. But it did bring out the crazies, right? You all know TikTok. I mean, there is just so much insanity on TikTok. And then you have see these young people who are growing up with this technology, and they just want to be famous. You know? Are we going to have any, any young people not inspiring to be a YouTube creator phenomena or a TikTok phenomena? Or they, or, uh, nobody's going to want to be a fireman, policeman, a lawyer, a doctor, an architect. I, it's just something to think about. I, I don't know. Don't let your children have these devices so at least they can get a start in life without being just saturated and just with technology, with, with social media. Just a little food for thought. And there you go. And that's what's happening.